My name is Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm back with a very special movie review slash drink review. And this is a black cherry Zevia zero calorie sugar. My friend, I uh, got a 12 variety pack. I had this in one more flavor to review and it's all done. It ended up being, I mean, I got Timothy Jordan to send me a, how to send me stuff on PayPal. And I got, it was like $24 for Brian Key. I'm glad to try at least the one time. And also a review of the movie Last Alarm. Now I told I like reviewing movies uh that Reed has been premiering movies and stuff on a newer channel now. Like she did on another channel. And uh now I tell when I can I do some movie reviews, I can review the movie that she had on now. I finally did click at my sister's house, and it's probably been out by three weeks or so. No more since I reviewed that. The movie she has is The Last Alarm. I can do that after the drink review. And so this uh, video is dedicated to both Timothy Lorden and Rita for Rita's Juicy Life. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the drink review first. This is a black cherry Zevia zero calorie sugar soda. Now, flavored by Stevia Lee's. Now, back a long time ago, you know, people think of Wegmans now, and they say it's really expensive. We used to shop at Wegmans all the time in the 90s. In the 2000s, then we, I, I think we kind of stopped because we went more to Walmart and stuff. When we didn't have the Walmart in Edinburgh. Uh, but, yeah, I, was, I still like Wegmans. It'd be expensive. Now... And they used to get the generic pop, and they used to have a black cherry soda there, and they had like a spicy black cherry soda. This is before we did the whole diet thing, when we were drinking like regular stuff. And they had a regular black soda that was really good, a black cherry soda was really good, and they had a spicy black cherry soda. I don't think they have any of that crap anymore. But it used to, we used to get all that, it was really good too. Um, here's another black cherry pop or soda, and it says, live your best, right here. Let's try it. I don't know if I focus or not. Maybe you best. Okay, let's try it out. Wow. This tastes like medicine. See, that's the one that changed. Somebody that had a taste like this tastes a lot like medicine. That thing that. There was some cough syrup my mom made take, and she had like this weird test tube thing that had like a long slot and a test tube, and she put like the cough syrup in there and fell up the line, you had to go drink it like that. It might still be up there, I don't know. I, I won't use it, I wouldn't use it now. Um, this tastes a lot like medicine, oh my god. It usually has an aftertaste because that stevia leaf extract, but that just makes it taste more medicine-y. Um, I mean, I could definitely drink this one, the next one, no problem. But it's not that good. I give it a 4 out of 10. Is this too medicine-y tasting? Because that's the one thing with cherry, you got to make sure it doesn't taste like medicine. So, there's it for the drink review. Now, the movie review uh, is The Last Alarm. And it was well, I watched some of it, and uh, <coughs> I know, you know, my dad was still around. You know, he would like some of these movies too. And I've seen, I've seen I've seen some of the movies that they had on there, and some of the ones were ones that were already broadcast on there. Whenever uh, the first time around, when, and then when she lost her channel, sadly, you know, she put some other stuff on. But last time I never heard of that one before. I watched a little bit of it. That's where Rita was and stuff. At first, it seemed like it said crime drama, but at first, it seemed like a comedy. Well, I guess this, this guy that's been uh, with the fire department for like 40 years or something like that, uh, he reached for pension age, retirement age, so they had a uh, party for him, uh, wishing him off, and they're going to, you know, in happy retirement with your pension and stuff. And you see him, he didn't know what to do with himself. He was trying to help his. Wife, Irish wife. Well, I don't match the Irish. But I mean, you know, 
It don't matter. Um, he, like dry did he drop the dish? And then there was even who said, uh, "Anything else I did? Will you help me bring these preserves down to the basement?" He took a giant, and there was a whole bunch on there, glass ball. He took a giant armful, and you know he's gonna drop them. That's why I thought some of that stuff was funny. You know, put them in the bottom up, and then you and you you see him walk into the thing and said, and now all of a sudden you hear him fall, fall down the steps. And that lady opened up the door, hey, you didn't break all my preserves. And the guy said, no, there's one left. I haven't broken them all yet. There's still one left. And he smashed it. He was pissed. And then there was like a um, door-to-door -door salesman came and selling mops or something like that. And that was the guy who voiced Elmer Fudd had to, and he was doing his Elmer Fudd voice, which was kind of, was was funny. And he was trying to get him to talk about a bunch of stuff. And the guy, oh, I gotta go. He stay here and talk with me. I gotta go. I gotta go. And, um, you know, and that stuff was funny. He just didn't know what to do himself. And then he went, oh, excuse me, and hang out at the fire station. And they were playing Pinochle. I don't know how to play that game. But playing that game. And then all of a sudden the, the alarm bell rang. Oh, something I forgot to say. When he was at home by himself, this guy came with like this, I don't know, like this cart. You hear him hit a bell, bang, 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 like that. And the girl said, and, and you hear him keep doing it. And then the husband walked out saying it was alarm, thinking it was alarm. And the lady went out, opened the door, said, hey, what do you want? And the guy said, hey, do you need any uh, knives or scissors sharp, sharpened or something? Because this is like 1940s, maybe. No, I don't need it. No, I don't need any knives or scissors sharpened. I said, okay. And then the funny thing was when he went to, he lo if you look real close, he looked like he had a big smile on his face. And you know, he fucked with him. That was funny. Uh... No, he went to hang out at the police, and you see, like, a fire, you know, a fire happened, so he had to stay there, and it's like, well, he would have had a winning hand. And then later on, you find out there's a guy committing all these arsons, like, I mean, a big warehouse and oil facility and all this other crap. It was all, like, stock footage they used. And then, you know, they had, like, this giant uh, oil fire, uh, fired this oil refiner or something like that, and you see, like, like about 10 minutes later, they're Starts, there's no way. They'd have to wait days for that to cool down. There's no way. It'd be too dangerous. Well, anyway, they found that it was an uh, arsonist. A guy who actually likes fire and stuff. And there's this guy in this antique shop. Who, like, looks at fire like this. He starts fire, looks at fire like this. And he sets these bombs off. And then you see him, the guy light a match. And the guy's, like, transfixed over the fire and stuff. And his... There was a fire there, and his buddy that was going to retire in like six months, and they were going to go, go out and do like, uh, go out and uh, go hunting and fishing and stuff like that, right? Um, wait, so what was I going to say? They were going to go hunting and fishing and stuff, and then he got caught up in the fire, and he ended up getting, he ended up dying. So the guy went out of retirement to help try to catch the, the arsonist. Now, I mean, they give, they say who the arsonist is pretty quickly in the movie. You know, I mean, the movie's only 53 minutes. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong did look funny in that. But, I mean, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's very enjoyable. Much more captivating, interesting than the Army of the Dead was. A big budget Zack Snyder Army of the Dead. Um, I enjoyed it though, and I give it a yeah, I give it a ten out of ten. So I mean, definitely check out Rita's Juicy Life. She puts out like neat videos, mostly upload movies, public domain movies, and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you liked this video, everybody. Till next time, please take care, of my legion. A review of the Medicine the Black Cherry Zevia Soda, and also the movie The Last Alarm from 1940. So until next time, like I said, take care.